fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high-yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, criminals and confidence men, cattle rustlers and road agents, made the new territory their headquarters. The local sheriffs were powerless against them, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his fight for law and order that peace and security were brought to the frontier. Nowhere in the pages of history could one find a greater champion of justice, nowhere a man to match his courage or daring. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Clearwater Canyon! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> Peacefully grazing cattle in Clearwater Canyon were suddenly started out of their calm. A horseman rode among them, and while his mount reared and pranced, he shouted at the top of his voice, and his six-gun echoed from the canyon wall. <coughs> the alarmed animals began first to press together, then nervously to circle, and finally, when the contagion of panic had swept through their ranks, to lunge in a body for the canyon's mouth. The horseman had brought about a mad stampede. second horseman was between them and the open plain beyond. When the first faint thunder of the approaching herd reached his ears, he reined his mount to a halt. Oh, boy, boy, what in a stampede. And coming like they plumb meant to get here. Boy, you and me'd better roll up our bridges and get for home. Get up, get along there, get up. Get up there. But as swiftly as the man rode Come from the open on, plain in safety, the stampede gained more swiftly still. Get up there. And his goal was yet some distance ahead when he met disaster. Come on, boy. Mount, urged to its greatest speed, was unable to avoid a gopher hole and... Get up! Oh. Oh. My leg. I feel like it's broke. They're coming fast. You all right, boy? You all right? Let's get going. Clear out, you hear me? Ain't no use us both getting trapped. Go on, boy. Go on. Go on. Clear out. Come on, A masked man. Get up. Get off the ground. Can't. Legs busted. Better turn back. You'll never make it. You can't. Swing you up. Get with you. Grab the saddle. Hold on. Come on, Silver. Come on. Out of the canyon, old boy. My heart. He'll make it alone. Hurry, Silver. Hurry. Hello, Silver. Hello. The Lone Ranger's great white stallion raced ahead of the stampeding herd, drew slowly away, and then, reaching the plain, broke into the clear. 
last man did not draw rein until he joined the waiting figure of Tonto, his faithful Indian companion. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh. Give me a hand with this fellow, Tonto. I think his leg's broken. Huh? Me get him. Easy. Let Tonto lift you down, friend. Yeah. Oh, gone leg aches like blazing. Uh, me got him now. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you... Thanks, Agent. You lay there. Tonto fix Clint. Uh, gosh, I, I don't know what to say. You, stranger, if you hadn't got me out from underfoot just when you did... Forget I... it. Time to see what you can find that'll serve as a splint for now. Uh, me. Well, when we get you home, you can get fixed up all right. Sure. But when I think of how you risk your life... I said you... forget it. Right now, there's something that interests me more. You like talking? <laughs> It'd take more than a busted leg to stop me. Very well. Then tell me, who might want to see you killed? Huh? Killed? That stampede wasn't an accident. It was started for a purpose. Uh, you're loco. You probably didn't hear the shots that set it off. Tato and I did. It was those shots that attracted our attention in the first place. Oh, you, you mean someone in the canyon there tried to get me trampled? You almost were. Well, I'll be switched. You can think of no one who wanted you out of the way? Huh? Didn't say that, did I? Strange, I'll tell you something. If them critters was roused to purpose, if somebody wanted me killed, I don't have to wonder who done it. I can give you his name. Which is exactly what I want to know. Luke Smead. Yes? Yeah, he said he'd get me. Like a fool, I never thought he'd have the nerve to try. Who is Smead? My partner, worse luck. You see, all this range hereabouts belongs to us. Them critters had come close to doing me in them own cows. I see. And you can think of no one but Smead who would dislike you enough to be responsible for what just happened, huh? Oh, I, I ain't on bad terms with any other fellow in the county. But would Smead benefit by your death? Why would your own partner dislike you? Sure he'd benefit. We got a partnership agreement. Anything happens to either one of us, the other gets his share of the ranch. As for Luke hating me, well, I caught a no-good brother of his rustling. I'd give him fair warning, but he just kept it up. So I turned him over to the sheriff. Oh? But the vigilantes grabbed him from the law and hung him. There have been too many rustlers going loose in the county. But Luke never forgive me. Well, that's easy to understand. On the other hand, you had only done your duty. That's the way I'd figured it. Oh, that blasted leg. You haven't told me your name. Asa, stranger. Asa Botts. Well, Asa, Tonto's coming now. We'll do what we can for you. See that you get home. Thank you, friend. And if Luke calls that stampede, perhaps we'll prove it. Lone Ranger and Tonto bound Aza's broken leg to a splint, then carried him home where they turned him over to his men. When Aza had been placed in bed, his foreman, Curly Macklin, stood beside him awaiting orders. Well, I'm mighty sorry about this, Mr. Bart. Uh, rightly you uh, are. There's another armor in this place that's sorry, too. Only he's sorry I weren't killed. But who could... That's have... my business. Where's Luke? Mr. Smead? Well, just a second. Yeah, there he is. Just turning his horse into the corral. Oh, he is, is he? Been away from the place, huh? I reckon so, Mr. Butts. He said something this morning about having to look through the brush for scrubs. He thought come round up there. Uh, when did he leave? Huh? Well, right after you, as I recollect. Right after me, huh? Thought so. What, what do you Quit mean? asking questions and tend to your own affairs. You sent men up to that uh, West Line cabin yet? Bet you ain't. No, I... Then see to it, doggone it. Go on. Pick two fellas and get them on their way. Another thing. Yeah? On your way out, tell Luke to come here. Tell him to get here pronto. Go on, Mr. Bart. It won't help. be necessary. I'm here. All right, Curly, clear out. Uh-huh. Cook told me about your leg. He... Don't you pretend to be sorry. Me? Don't worry. I'd rather bin your neck. Ah, glad to hear it. Yeah? That just makes it easier to come down to cases. Curly says you rode out just after me. That so? You my nursemaid? Afraid to answer? Sure, I rode out. Reckon it most likely was close after you left. What of it? I ain't told the boys yet, but that stampede was started a purpose. Started a purpose with me in front of it. With the chances nine and ten, I wouldn't get away. And if it hadn't been for a masked crook, I wouldn't have. Started a purpose, eh? Who by? Uh, why should you ask? <laughs> I get it. It was me started the stampede, eh? Why, you old fool... I said one day I'd even a score between me and you and a will. 
But when I do, it'll be in a way where you won't be doubting who done it. Jim hung on account of you. When I get in my licks, you'll know where they come from. I know now. But you're alive. I won't miss. Uh, Luke, I'll make you a proposition. Yeah? I'll buy out your half of this outfit. Give you a fair price. On condition, you start up again someplace outside this county. <laughs> Getting cold feet, eh? No such thing! It's just that things can't go on this way. Who ever heard of two fellas hating each other and still being partners? I like it here. I ain't leaving. But I'll make you a proposition. I'll buy you one. I won't sell. We'll do it my way or not at all. It is not at all. I'm going to change the agreement we drew up. I'm going to see through it. You never get my half if something happens to me. Go right ahead. That suits me down to the ground. Then we know how we stand. Yes, so. Good. And for your information, I got a gun here under the covers. Try anything before my leg mends, and you'll find a busted leg ain't interfering any with my aim. Which never was nothing to brag of. Come in. Come in. Oh, howdy, Sheriff. Who told you about what happened? Never knew it till I got here. Then what are you doing here? I got bad news for both of you. Huh? Your boy, he said. Uh, Bud? Something happened to Bud? I just come from his place. Why ain't he come here? Said he was going to drop in on me this week. He said, he's dead. What's that you said? Dead, he said. Murdered. Sheriff, who done it? You did, Luke. Hold out your hand. Luke was handcuffed and forced to leave the ranch house by a side door. The sheriff kept him covered as he walked toward his horse. Steady, fella. Don't make no funny moves, Luke. No gun. At least I got a right to know why you're blaming this killing on me. Luke, you're as good as hung. But I tell you, in the first place... Everybody knows how you've been promising to get even with Asa. I never had nothing against Asa's boy. You blamed Asa for the hanging of that worthless brother of yours. It'd be just natural for you to strike back through Bud. If that's all you got, I mean, you can't hold me in jail an hour. It ain't. What else is there? You dropped your bandana when you made your getaway. Too excited to notice, I reckon. And like all you wear, it's got your initials. And it was stolen planted there. I've been wearing the same one for the past two days. You have a hard time proving it. But that's just the least of it. You can't... He didn't finish Bud off as clean as you must have figured. He lived on a spell. Lived on long enough to grab a pencil and paper and write who shot him. And he named me? Just so, Luke. Think it over. You murdered and the man you murdered testifies again you. You can't beat a thing like that. No? We palavered long enough. Climb aboard. We'll ride double. Nope, I don't reckon we will. If you think I'm going to get a horse for you from the corrals and let everybody know... Hey, that... Curly! What, what? There ain't nobody there. Uh, you... Hey, you busted my wrist! I said I wasn't riding double. I'm riding alone. Get up there. Hey, hold on! Come back here! Help! Stop that fella! Hey, go after him! What's up? What's the matter? Is, is that Luke riding on? Get a horse and bring him back. He's my prisoner. He knocked the gun from my hand and threw my horse. Don't just stand there, you idiot! You hear me? Saddle up! It was an hour later. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had returned to Clearwater Canyon and were examining the ground. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing here. The ground's too badly torn up by the stampede. Any trail made through here beforehand would be completely destroyed. Not right. What we do now? We'll make camp somewhere and then see Asa again. Now I want to look at Luke Smead. Ah. Uh, we... What's that? Sound like horse? Coming through the brush there. Ah. Uh. Break into the clear in just a moment. Get up. Get up back. There, Get up. there, fella. Hi! Back, fella. Back, back. Hold on. Him scared. The moment he saw us, he changed direction. He wanted to get away. Uh. You notice his hands, Tonto? Uh, what matter? That fellow wore handcuffs. We're going after him. Uh. Hip. Hey, come on. Get him up, Scott. Hail Silver. Away. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. Luke Smead, handcuffed and riding a tired horse, had no hope of escaping from the masked man and Tonto. Get up, boy. Get up. Stay back. Stay back, Flash. I'll let you have it. I'm warning you. Come on, Silver. I'm taking you. Oh, don't hurt your dirty. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me go. This ain't none of your... Here, give me a chance. What's the meaning of those handcuffs? What are you running from? What difference does it make to you? Just let me go. That's all I'm asking. You're running from the law? You've got plenty to explain. But I tell and you... you will before we're through. Right on that side of him, Tonto. Uh, He's coming with us. Come on, Silver. Tell him I'm standing. The sheriff, giving up the pursuit of his escaped prisoner, returned to town sending two of his deputies out to hunt for Luke's trail. That evening, he sat in his office with a third deputy, Cal Munson. I never had so much evidence again a feller in all the time I've been in office, short of catching him in the act, and then he gets away from me. Uh, I ought to turn in my badge. I must be getting too old for the job. A man wearing handcuffs can't stay on the dodge for long. He'll be back. And in the meantime, I'm the laughing stock of everybody in the county. It's lucky for you you ain't worse. Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, I was just thinking of what folks might have said if there hadn't been such a sight of evidence against Luke. They might have even suspicioned that, uh... Well, I reckon you savvy all right. And I killed Bud? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything. I'm only pointing out what others might have said. Uh, yeah? Well, how much use did you ever have for Ace's boy? I... None at all, and you know it. And others know it. And others might have recollected the fight you and Bud have had. You ain't even making sense. No? Well, don't matter. I reckon Luke's guilty right enough. Circumstances being what they are, nobody's accusing you. I just mentioned it to show you how being laughed at for losing a prisoner ain't half so bad as being pointed to as maybe a killer. Then forget that fool talk. You a masked man. Don't move. What the? Sheriff, this isn't the holdup. There's something here I wish to see. What's here that a crooked want? I'm the law. You do as I say. Keep your hands on that gun, Sheriff. Why, bless you. Good gosh. That's better. Next time, don't try to outdraw me. I never seen a draw like that in all my born days. Now, well, maybe we can get down to business. Ace about son owned a small outfit not far from here. This morning, Sheriff, you stopped by his place and found him murdered. Hey, where'd you find out all this? You know as well as I do, the news is all over the district by now. However, I got my information from another source. Uh, what do you never mean? Never mind that. It'll do you no good to ask who told me. The point is this. Sheriff, you found a note in Bud's cabin. Name and who killed him? So I've heard. I want to see that note. But, uh, when I've seen it for myself, you may have it back. Well? Uh, you can read it. But, mister, you do anything with it you shouldn't, and I'll make this county so hot for you, you wish you'd left well enough alone. Cal, open that drawer by your right hand there. That's where the note is. That night, the shock following the news of his son's death, combined with the pain of his fractured leg, made sleep impossible for Aza Botts. He refused to be left alone and ordered his foreman, Curly Macklin, to keep him company. Don't you think you could sleep a little if I was to turn down your lamp and leave you alone for a spell, Mr. Botts? Gosh, you gotta have some rest. You stay right there. Oh, it ain't me I'm thinking of. It's you. It ain't me I'm thinking of. It's my boy. And Luke, that dirty sidewinder. Oh, I never figured things would come to this. I should have known. Should have been on guard. Now, don't go to blaming yourself. Curly? Yeah. I'm just laying here hoping for one thing. I'm just hoping Luke ain't caught for now. I'm hoping he stays free to this here leg as well. Huh? What for? So as I can go after him myself. So it can be me that deals with him. You think I want him to go to trial with a chance of going free or breaking jail first? Shucks, boss. There ain't a chance of it. He'll be caught and he'll stay caught. When the judge passes sentence, he'll hang. Uh, with a sheriff hanging him. I want to pay him back myself. You savvy that? He killed my boy. And I want to pay him back personal. Oh, there, now. You get so head up, you forget your leg. Now, try to take it easy. Uh, me here with a busted leg and every... Well, Dickens, trouble. More trouble. Get outside, see who's doing that. Right. And if it's one of the boys home from town and raising net, give him his time. Send him packing. I'll handle it. Wait a minute. Close that door. I told you before, it's drafty in here. Uh, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Here, when I see Luke hung, I'm going to quit ranching. Ain't worth. What? Quiet, Asa. It's you. It's the masked man. I want to talk with you in private. You in trouble? The law get after you. No, not that, Asa. 
I'm hoping to help you in your trouble. But why I first you... turn down that lamp? I don't want it possible for anyone to see me through the window. Well, I don't savvy. But when a gent saves my life like you done, I don't argue neither. If Curly comes back, send him away. Don't let him enter. Tell him he wished to sleep. Sure. He left to find out what crazy fool got the exercise and the shooting irons careless outside. You must have heard the shots. I did. I fired them. Huh? You fired them? To get Curly away. Well, I'll be doggone. Asa, I want you to do something for me. Just name it. In reality, it's something for yourself. Yeah? Tomorrow night, I want three men besides yourself here in this room. What three men? Your foreman, the sheriff, and Cal Munson. What for? Tell the sheriff to bring with him all the evidence he's holding against Luke Smead, including the note written by your son. You still ain't told me what for. Do that, and before they leave, you'll know the identity, not only of the man who started that stampede, but of the man who killed your son. That's note already. Luke Smead done it. Perhaps. No, perhaps about it. My boy's killer never will be in this house till Luke is. That's as plain as a mask you're wearing. Luke will be here, Asa. Huh? Will you do as I've asked? Sure, I'll do it. But that you just said about Luke, what do you mean? You know where he is? Has he been caught? I know where he is, Asa. I know because I caught him. Refusing to explain further, the masked man departed as he had come, and when daylight arrived, Asa carried out his promise, sending a man in town with a message to the sheriff and his deputy. Curly, too, was told to be present, and that evening when the sheriff and Cal arrived, he joined them in front of the house. Got any idea what Asa wanted was for, Curly? He say anything to you? Nothing except him when to be there. Likely he just wants to talk over how to catch Luke. Come on inside. He'll, he'll be waiting for us. He ought to know we're doing the best we can. Step in. Sure, I reckon he knows it, but maybe he's got some ideas of his own. Here's his room over here. The sheriff's here with Cal. Ready to see us? Good morning. Go ahead, fellas. Evening, Asa. Feeling better? I feared a bit. Suppose you're wondering why had you come here, huh? Shucks, if you've got any ideas that'll help us, Asa, I'd be glad to hear them. Uh -huh. You've been looking for Luke, figuring he killed Bud. I've been laying here hating Luke for that same reason. And all the time that both of us have been wrong. Uh -huh. oh, but all the evidence, the note Bud wrote before he died. Yeah, and, and all that. Up. Just hold on a second, gents. Let me tell it to you my own way. Now, first of all, the evidence. Part of it was that Luke had it in for me, weren't it? Sure. But that alone wouldn't be hanging evidence, would it? I mean, if there weren't nothing else to back it up. Uh, of course not. But with the other things to back it I'm up, I'm coming was... to him. Now, that bandana, the, the one with Luke's initials, nobody could prove that hadn't been stole from him, could they? Oh, now, look here, Mr. Bob. I don't want an argument. I want an answer. Could it be proved? Could it? Uh, Sheriff, you ought to be able to tell me that. You represent the law. Well, if you come right down to it, maybe not. <laughs> uh, Curly could have stolen. He's around the place all the time. I never had him. get fussed. I'm just supposing. Well, that holds for the sheriff and Cal, too. Sheriff stops in on business every once in a while. Cal's got friends among the hands, and he rides out this way every so often. You're talking nonsense. Them things don't matter so much. It's the note Bud wrote while he was dying that proves the killing on Luke. Uh-huh, that note. Now, I'm going to tell you just what happened yesterday. You see, gents, I know who really killed Bud. Oh, you can't. Who was it? I said I'd tell it my own way. Curly there says I can't know who done it. Well, the fellow to blame is here in this room right now. Well, now, we're yeah. carrying a fool joke too far. If you're just trying to be funny... Funny? Funny about the murder of my son? I'll show you how funny it is. I said I'd tell you just what happened yesterday. Well, I will. And I reckon the one of you that killed Bud will know I savvy what I'm saying, all right. We're listening. Well, first of all, yesterday I got this here busted leg when my horse threw me when I was trying to get out from under a stampede. I figured at the time that that stampede was started to get me. I accused Luke of it. But that weren't so at all. The fellow started it, done it to wipe out his trail. If that note he'd writ didn't work, if anybody set out to follow him, then the stampede had stopped him. There wouldn't be no more trail to follow. How come you so doggone sure? Uh, Bud was killed. That bandana was dropped where it would be found. Then the killer wrote out that note, making it look like Bud was accusing Luke. Go on. The killer was seen. Seen by a fellow that couldn't afford to testify in court. Well, not... But he wrote out the whole thing and put it in that there envelope with proof to back it up. What envelope? That one right there behind you in the table. See? I... Oh, doggone the lamp. Quick, catch it. <laughs> Shucks, it's busted. I can't see nothing. That was my own fool fault. Shouldn't have brushed it with my arm. Where's another light? Uh, reach under my bed. 
I had an extra one put there. Find it? It is. Well, light it up. Just a second. Uh, now we can see again. And the first thing I aim to look at is that there envelope. I... It's gone. What happened to it? By thunder. If it's gone, then the fellow that's guilty took it. He's... Come in, Luke. By golly, it's the fellow I was telling you about. It's the fellow give me that envelope. Now it don't matter if it was stored. He can tell which one of you done it. There's the man. He's pointing at Curly. Hey. Stand back. I'll shoot the first bullet, Fowler. I'm going through the window. You stay here. A redskin's at the window. Flash two. Oh. Stranger, you knocked the gun right from his hand. Arrest him, Sheriff. I got him. Blast you. If you hadn't You're seen me... You're guilty, Curly. There's nothing you can do to save yourself. So you might just as well tell us why you killed Ace's son. Because he knew I'd help Luke's brother Russell Cowles from Ace and was going to tell. I had to kill him to shut his mouth. Then my brother was guilty of rustling. You was the only one stubborn enough to figure he wasn't, Luke. And Ace, I was blaming you. When you was in the right, Chucks, forget it. What I'm more interested in right now is how the mask fella happened by Bud's place just when the killing happened. Care to tell us, mister? I wasn't there. Huh? I didn't see the killing. I never claimed that I did. What? Hey. But I did see the note Bud was supposed to have written, Sheriff. It was written altogether too carefully and too clearly for a dying man. Bud couldn't have written it. And as it accused Luke... And it was clear Luke hadn't written it either. You must have seen me. He's told just what I'd he done. He told you what obviously must have been done when we knew the note was a forgery. As for the stampede, when I found the place it started, I saw that Asa would have had to have been out of sight. The man who started the stampede couldn't have known Asa was in the canyon. Therefore, he must have had another reason. If no cattle were stolen, it must have been to destroy a trail. But, but you stood right there and pointed out Curly. <laughs> The, the masked man and me had that fixed up between us, Cal. I claimed there was evidence in that envelope. And I knocked over the lamp, giving the guilty fellow a chance to hide it in the dark. But he didn't know there was chalk in the envelope. When the masked man stepped in, he just pointed at the fellow that had chalk on his hands. Well, I'll be <laughs> chalk. I never noticed. So you'll hang. And Luke... I reckon you and me can forget our feuding, huh? Asa, it's clean for God already. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.